Hey friend, this is Eric from Miller Music. Let me ask you a question. Do you want to get faster at mixing and at the same time have your mixes sound better? Um, I want to talk about that today in the video by talking about bus tracks. So bus tracks, I have to be honest with you, I didn't understand them for many years of recording and the result was that my mixes were a little bit overcomplicated and they, they didn't sound as good as they could have. Um, so I want to talk about that today and how the, using bus tracks can make your um, your mix is much more efficient, simpler, and sound better. So let's jump into the topic. So just to define a bus track, a bus track is where you send audio from one track to a second track, and then you apply effects on that a second track, which then all the effects will be heard on the first track. And then you can assign multiple tracks to that one bus track, um, and it saves on processing power, and then also you can just use those same effects for multiple tracks. Um, so I have Studio One open up here and you can see that um, there are no effects or virtually none on all of these instruments. Okay, Bass, drums, guitar, vocals. But I have a bus track for each instrument group over here. So we have a bus for the guitar, for the drums, and then for the vocals. We have two separate ones. One is for the main vocals and the second is for the, the harmonies. What you do in Studio One is you highlight, again, this can be actually used in any DAW, um, but it's really in Studio One that's super easy. What you do is you right click on those instruments and then it's and click Add Bus for Selected Channels and what it does is it automatically makes a bus track for you. Um, and that's what I did over here. And then I have some guitars, so let's listen to just those guitars. I'll hit Solo. So it just solos out the guitar tracks. If I do the same thing and I want to just solo out the drums. For some reason it's muting the kick. So those are just the um, drums. And again, I can apply all these different effects right on um, you know that that channel and it goes for all of them. So this is really fast. Uh, just listen to the drums here. Um, and we'll listen. Let me back it up. So that's no effects. And then effects for everything. So it's really powerful. You can hear instantly what that does to that. Uh, let's listen to the vocals. So let's unsolo that. We'll solo out. Cause you're all that I desire. I give it all to you. A holy ghost fire. So I can really just go through and mix um, using these. And again, apply all of these effects to whatever I want within that uh, vocal bus. So really powerful. Um, I want to show you one other thing that is really great with bus tracks, and that is if you want to automate things. If I, there was a drum fill, okay, whoops. There was a drum fill that we had, um, and I wanted to just boost it a little bit. So I'm going to go over here, and then I created a, some automation just on that drum bus. And what it did was it automated and bumped up a couple dB all of these tracks all at the same time instead of going through and trying to do each track at the same time. You know, when you have uh, seven bus tracks, it makes a big difference. So let's just hear what that sounds like. If I go back to the mixing window and I'm going to solo out the drums, not the vocals. Um, and let's hear that. So it just highlighted and brought that, that drum fill up a little bit. So if you want more information like this, I highly encourage you to download my free guide. It's a free guide on how to record pro sounding music from your home studio. Um, and you can go to millermusic.co to download that guide or just click the link in the description below. Um, and I will see you on the next video. Take care.